for the first time in this hallowed chamber on Wednesday, 22nd July 2020. As a specialized institution, the University for the Creative Arts would provide numerous opportunities in various chosen subject area of arts, architecture, communication, design and media. It will also help in physical, social, cognitive and emotional growth and development. The university will have a long history of nurturing unique communities of arts, designers, architects, writers, animation, filmmakers, illustrators, photographers, actors, creative business leaders, and more. The objective for which the university is established, among others, are to encourage the advancement of learning and to hold out to all persons without discrimination of race, creed, sex, or political conviction, to develop and offer academic and professional programs leading to the award of certificates, first degree, postgraduate research, diploma and higher degrees with emphasis on planning, developmental and adaptive skills in creative arts and other allied professional disciplines, to produce socially mature creative minds with capabilities not to only understand creative needs of Nigeria, as a nation, but also to exploit existing business of creativity and improve on it to develop new ones. To act as agents and catalysts for effective creative system through postgraduate training, research, and innovation for effective economic utilization and conservation of the country's human resources. To collaborate with other national and international institutions involved in the training, research, and development of creativity with a view to promoting governance, leadership, and management skills among creative minds. To identify creative needs of the society with a view to finding solutions to them with the context of overall national development. And to undertake any other activities that is appropriate for University of Creative Arts and of the highest standard. The specialized University of Creative Arts and Technology commands potential economic benefits. With the current mantra of diversify, to diversify the nation's economy from the hitherto oil-based economy, the creative industry offers a great potential as revenue earner. The antidote of the specialized University of Creative Arts and Technology in order to clearly demonstrate that there is high hope that the university will revolutionize the creative arts sector. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the creative industry is currently employing many Nigerians and the number keeps growing to death. We know that all kinds of business are looking for talented, highly skilled graduates. That's exactly what the bill seeks to achieve when enacted into law. This bill, if passed, will produce a tight-knit and creative community that will add value to freedom of expression, experimentation, active collaboration across disciplines and backgrounds, rigor in thinking and practices, and informed engagement with and shaping of the world around us. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the enactment of this bill will help in transforming the creative and educational fortunes in Nigeria by producing desired expertise in business of creativity that Nigeria is yearning for. Mr. President, my highly respected colleagues, in this line with Order 77, Subsection 3 of our standing rules, the financial compendium is hereby attached for your consideration. I urge you, my distinguished colleagues, to support the second reading of this all-important bill. Thank you. Um, and going through this university, they will be able to actualize their, 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 their ambitions in becoming actors, advertisers, 
and also adding value to the creative arts that the world today have seen a lot of people, uh, 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 a lot of people becoming billionaires just because of one arts work that has been displayed in the, in, uh, in the exhibitions. And also, just to take example of the Nollywood and Kennywood in Nigeria, at the time they are adding to the GDP of this country. So economically too, it's very important. And also you can see how our television system today, we've been battling to become a digital network. But with this university, I think getting to that position would not be so difficult. So I stand to support this bill, and I believe that my, most of my colleagues will do the same. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. <coughs> I rise to support this bill. In supporting this bill, Mr. President, I want to say that uh, the global, global trend in the development of university education today is specialized universities. Today, in the first world, when you talk about establishment of a higher institution, you'll be talking about a specialized arm of education. I think particularly in our nation, where over the years we have been carrying the colonial imposed educational system on our nation accumulating to a problem we all face today, where you have people who have gone to the forward of the university, but they are not skilled. I think, Mr. President, this bill should be supported. Supporting this bill, Mr. President, will mean that we are laying the foundation for a new generation of university education in Nigeria. And I think more importantly, Mr. President, we will equally be coming to the realization that we must start thinking ahead and diversifying Nigeria economy. And of course, in doing that, you'll be talking about the workforce, the workforce that will be required in a society that a nation that will not be dependent totally on oil as it used to be. We have enjoyed the oil boom for about 40 years or so, or 45 years now. But I think the time has come for us to be thinking of an economy without oil for our nation. So what this bill is seeking, Mr. President, is to encourage the younger generation, whom to me are even more creative than the present generation. The one coming, the generation after us, our children, they are more enterprising and they are more creative. So this university being proposed it's a university that I think we should all support because in doing so, we'll be laying the foundation of a new set of university graduates. Who Thank you very much, Distinguished. We have to round up now before 2 o'clock. So, Thank you very much. Is those in favor that this bill be now read a second time, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes are not. A bill for an act to provide for the establishment of the University of Creative Arts and Technology, Olu, Imo State, and for other matters connected there with 2020 second reading taken. And the bill is referred to the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Ted Fund to report by within four weeks. <laughs>